Ooh, what are we, day 18? Day 18! So, I got tired Hi. driving last night. Pulled over, don't know what time. Um, back on the road by about 4.30 this morning. Uh, I've been liking that. I like to I like to wake up super early. I wake up while everybody sleeps. I sleep a little extra. <laughs> and uh, I try to drive as far as I can without waking everybody up. And then I come. And then we get to watch the sun come up. And uh, more than driving through the night, I like watching the sun come up. Especially because the scenery is awesome. Stop tickling. It's awesome scenery. So we just went to uh, breakfast. We, cra we crossed a dope bridge. What was it called? Bridge of the Gods. Bridge of the Gods. And then we Wait, stopped at this blue collar cafe, which second greatest breakfast. Yeah. I had uh, my no, third, second third round tour. of biscuits and gravy. But this it was, was this was the third best breakfast of the tour. It was very, very portion sizes. Whoa. Yeah. My um, omelet was awesome. And now we are going to the falls. Yes. Oh. We saw two people. Somehow, at, I'm at the gym. We've been in the like middle of absolute nowhere. We went to some gym last night, and like I did cardio, Premier Premier Fitness, and like people somehow I guess stopped on the road and saw us. It's probably because we're driving the biggest, the most obnoxious I truck guess, ever. I guess, but I graphics. really I. In the last, like, two places, I really did not expect to see no, this anybody. Is, this has been, like, an eye-opening trip. I didn't realize... No, I'm, once again, not many people know me, which is fine. Uh-huh. No, yes, no, huh? no. They know you. But Dana is literally known by everyone. I'm not the old people in there. People that you would... Don't, don't even know anything about fitness, for some reason, know who you are. Um, and what that says to me is we're doing a very good job. Because the whole concept here is to spread an understanding and a respect for fitness. And I think that a lot of dudes out there, a lot of bodybuilders, a lot of females, you just scare everybody off, man. You're either too big or... Or you're too just fixated on just fitness. Yeah. Like, we have so much other... Like, I think the whole point of us is just, like, show people how to enjoy life. Like, it's not... Yeah, having abs is great, but guess what? I don't have abs right now because I had. Oh my God, you still have abs. It's okay, the worst thing just ever. Just over here. When she says she doesn't have abs, she's like, look. I'm like, oh they're my not, God. They're not there. But fitness. I'm going to do some sit ups. Fitness is not life. Fitness is part of life. Part of life. It's part of enjoying life, it's taking care of yourself. But there's more to that. Like that. That beautiful mountain over there. Check that out.
It's chilly up here in the north. We are back in the north, everyone. Where we belong. Flannel weather. Hooded sweatshirts. Socks. Long pants. 52 degrees. We jumped in water that was 30 oh degrees. Oh my god. I don't Yo. know if you caught my facial reaction when I came up. You and came not, up. And I couldn't breathe. And I wanted to yell, it's so cold. And I went... <laughs> it, it just took, I couldn't it do took anything. My, the breath out of my chest. And then I my, my toes froze and I panicked and I thought I was going to die. I panicked because I literally like, I was like swimming. I'm like, <laughs> nothing's going in. And uh, it was a little scary. everyone said that it was like, it was like, that's snow melting. That's where the water's from. It was like, nice. Cool. That's why it's so cold. Uh, Today was rad. Today was fucking awesome. Uh, I have no idea how people found us. We had to drive two hours into a national forest with no signs to On find some dirt roads. secret campground. And somehow people were just showing up right and left. Yeah. So, those, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to you guys. You, you guys, guys are rad. Because you obviously were prepared and... I don't know. Maybe did more research than us. Yeah. A lot of them were there before us. So we like stopped on the side of the road, got, and like every car that passed stopped because they knew us because they were looking for us because we had no idea where to go. So, and we had no cell service. So we wanted to like update people when we were getting close and where we were going to go. And we couldn't because we didn't have any cell service. We didn't have for, cell like, service. Three hours. Longer than that. Well, three hours beforehand, and then probably three another three or so after that. So now we're at a truck rad. stop. There's like 30 people there today. Tomorrow's a travel day. Uh, we booked ourselves a little padding because we're headed to Glacier. Um, so tomorrow is a travel day. We drove two hours tonight. Uh, I'll probably drive three to four hours tomorrow morning uh, in the darkness. Uh, we'll probably stop, eat, train. And then drive another four hours, find a campsite, and then the next day, whatever day that is, we're going to climb some more mountains and all sorts of shit. We're going to go to Avalanche Lake. Um, I know we have some self-service there, but uh, Avalanche Lake is in Glacier National. Um, a lot of the mountains close, so Glacier is its fairly short. I think like maybe three round trip or something. It's really short but oh, the, Avalanche Lake is three yeah yeah it's not it's not a very long one but they're starting to close the top of the mountain so we don't have a time yet once we figure out a time we're gonna post that tomorrow what Tell them time on the internet say good night now I wanna go shower okay good night internet I'm gonna go shower Montana I'm gonna sleep at this truck stop with my trucker friends we are coming for you hell yeah oh, oh.